You've probably heard the term hard drive in relationship to a computer. And we're going to talk about what that is today. But first, let's talk about something a little senior to that. And that is the concept of a storage device. Let's go back to the purpose of a computer. A computer is there to take data in, work with that data, and then send that data on to say another computer or another device, like a display. But it's that data we're concerned with here. This data is electronic data. It's actually a series of ones and zeros stored electronically. And there's a lot you can learn about how that works, how you can store any kind of information in ones and zeros. Anything from images to text to video, all of it can be stored in ones and zeros. And it's pretty amazing. But for now, let's just consider data. If the computer is there to take data in, work with that data, and then send data on, well, it's got to have a place to store data for later use. Let's use a concrete example of, say, a word processing document. If you're writing a document and you want to keep it when you turn the computer off and have it be there again when you turn the computer on, you need to store it somewhere in the computer. That is a storage device. That's what's needed. Now, the one that we're almost all used to is called a hard drive. And I'm going to show you one right now. This is an example of a hard drive. Now, let's talk about how it's constructed. If you were to open this up, you would see, right in this area, because you can see it's round, a metal disc, extremely thin, and, oh, about that wide. Now, this disc is where the data is stored. These discs are coated with a magnetic material. Now, what's really neat about this material is that the material itself can be changed so that it represents either a one or a zero. And again, there's a lot of technology about how that works, a lot of detail. You don't need to get into that too much. But it's just suffice it to say that it's a round disc and there's millions of tiny little locations on that disc and each one can be changed to either indicate a one or a zero. And here's the cool thing about it. Because you're changing the magnetic material on the disc, you don't need any electricity in this little device to make the one or zero stay there. In other words, you can turn your computer off and turn your computer on again, and that data will remain there unchanged. As a storage device, that places it in a category of what's called non-volatile storage. Volatile simply means, you know, rapidly changing or capable of change. In other words, this is not something that changes. When you turn your computer off and on, that data will remain unchanged. There are other storage devices where if you turn the computer off and on again, that data is gone. It has changed. So this is a hard drive. It's a storage device for your computer. And it's the place where you store data that you need to persist or remain when you turn a computer off and on again. 